Hi, it's Dr. Christy Garner, and we're talking this month about courage. How do we feel more courage, especially when we have fear or when things feel really out of control? And I think this is a time where a lot of things have felt really out of control. You know, everything from our health to, for many of us, our work, to our school, to our relationships. I mean, this is really the reality for many of us right now is this feeling like a lot of things have been out of our control. And I think it's a really natural response for anxiety and fear to come up. So that's one of the first things I just wanna acknowledge is that I think that's a totally reasonable response to what we've collectively have gone through and are going through. So for myself, I often just, just not wrestling with my own life is brings a lot of peace, you know, just naming, okay, I'm feeling really out of control right now. I'm feeling really afraid and just naming that and letting that land for a second before I try to do anything about it is really helpful. Another practice that I use is trying to get in touch with the facts. So. Oftentimes, a lot of my suffering and my anxiety comes about not so much from what's going on, but everything I'm adding to it. So if I use a recent example, I recently um, hurt my ankle, I sprained it, and I'm supposed to be heading to LA this week to go to a Billie, Billie Eilish concert with my daughter. And so in that moment, I just, it was like, I just felt like everything was too much in that moment. And so I was like, oh my gosh, I hurt my ankle. <gasps> I'm supposed to be getting on a plane and I need to be able to jump and dance at the concert. And oh my gosh, if I can't do that, then my daughter's gonna be so disappointed. Oh my God, and she's gonna be so depressed. And my, our whole trip is gonna be ruined. And then, oh my gosh, my ankle, what if so it's more something more serious? What if I'm not able to walk? What if I'm not able to garden? That's my favorite thing to do in my entire life. And so before I knew it, my little ankle sprain had escalated into this thing where like I thought I was gonna be incapacitated for the rest of my life and I was gonna have a miserable existence. And this is what our brain does when it spirals out of control, right? And so one of the practices I use is to discipline myself to get back in touch with the facts of the situation. So the fact of the situation is that I twisted my ankle and everything else that I had piled on top of it, that's actually where the majority of my suffering was. There's actually some very tangible things that I can do to support my ankle. And suddenly when I peel away all that excess that I had added, then I can really see what there is to do, which is to grab an ice pack and to care for myself, raise my leg. A second practice that I find helpful when I'm just feeling out of control or I'm feeling really scared in a situation, for me, oftentimes, I'll get sensory overstimulated. So I might be in like a loud room or if someone comes up to me with aggressive energy, that tends to fluster my system. I'm sure many of you can relate. Many of us are quite sensitive um, in, our, in our senses and in our emotional systems. And so, when I'm feeling out of control like that, one of the things I ask myself is what do I have in my control right now? You know, what, what can I control? And a few things I always control can control is my breath. So one thing I think about is I imagine, you know, all this might be coming at me. I imagine roots growing out through my feet, anchoring myself into the ground and then I take a deep breath and I imagine that breath going all the way to the tips of my toes and back up. And I find that that is something that really helps to root me when I'm feeling a little out of sorts. Um, other things that we can control, even when the rest of life is out of control, we can control what goes in our bodies. So oftentimes when I'm feeling afraid or I'm feeling you know, really anxious, um, I'll feel cold and so I've shared with um, you many times before oftentimes warming things at this point are helpful so I might grab a warming tea I try to keep it decaffeinated if I'm feeling anxious some nice some warm high protein foods I try to avoid caffeine and sugar when I'm feeling anxious or out of control so things you can control what's in going in your belly that's something that's so simple um, also, you can control what you're wearing. So just putting, wrapping a shawl around yourself or a sweater or some compression clothing 
that can help to bring some calming and peace. And the last thing, uh, the tool I'll give you, specifically related to our behaviors, is oftentimes when we have those feelings of panic and we just feel like things are just totally out of control and we're feeling afraid, this is oftentimes when my urges get the loudest. And so one of the simplest things I've found is to simply grab your thumbs really gently and take three deep breaths. And it sounds so simple, but it's so helpful because when you're out of control, oftentimes it also feels like our hands are, or at least for me, my hands feel out of control, right? That's when I start scanning for things to pick or pull. And so by simply tucking my thumbs and resting them on my lap and taking a couple breaths, I know I can't do my behaviors when my thumbs are tucked. And so it just gives me that peace of mind to know like in this moment, I actually have control of my hands, I have control of my behaviors, and then I can focus on my breath. So I just wanted to share those ideas with you, sending you lots of love this month. Look forward to connecting with you again soon.